Peace, everybody. This is your brother Raheem, Rob the Knot, uh, coming at you. And um, today's tutorial is snare roll, simplistically, because I've went on the net and I've seen um, other producers do the snare roll, but they're opening up in an XT, turning it into a combinator, or taking um, the notes copying it to the sequencer, then open up a, a pitch uh, lane and drawing it in. You ain't got to go through all that. This is all you need to do. And it's simplistic, and you'll have fun doing it. Go in. By the way, I'm using one hand, so forgive me, all right? Go in and um, open up an NXT. Okay. Um initialize it because you want all the sounds gone okay you expand you expand it and then you go to this part the sample now what I've done is I've made up a snare keyboard and I'm gonna show you something okay let me go to it to the patch Okay, patches, NNXT, that's what all my made-up keyboards are. I make my own keyboards. Um, I call it Trap Snare. Bingo. Well, I'm doing it wrong. Wait a minute. All I have to do is go to basically the... Uh, hold on. Give me a second. Patches. Wait a minute. Oh, first of all, I just go up here and bring it in. Matter of fact, okay, I got to go all the way to it. Let me see. Hurry up and try to get this done. Um, patches. The first one I went to is where you bring the sample in, but I don't have to bring it in no more because it's already done. See? So I got trap snare. Bingo. So, you hear that? Let me turn that speaker up. So I'm hitting the keyboard. All right. So I can bring it back up. So it's there. Okay. So in order to make your own snare keyboard, you just um, hold on. Let me hit it. Make sure it's light, lit up, highlighted, and you go to what is called set root notes from pitch detection any note you can have a f sharp uh snare right and then what will happen is when you hit the set root detection it will place across the keyboard every note from that one note and you have your own keyboard i've spread mine out from one to six because i'm using 70 uh 61 keys I didn't do it to 7 or to 8 because I'm not dealing with an 88 keyboard or a 76 keyboard. So, now I have my snare up. Now, let's go to um, song mode. I got a little track up. So you hear it. It's at 120. Okay, we're not doing the music production uh video so it's just a little simple track I'm gonna use them drums cuz I'm gonna make a track later alright bear with me I'm using one hand we go to edit mode okay now here you wanna draw a line you wanna set it to bar for now because with that line you want it to and you want to take it from off 116 and onto bar so check this out it's gonna bam snap into place this we don't need so you want it to snap into place then go back to bar set it at 116 because it's at 120 and you know you want to keep it at that pace. Now you get your pencil 
to and then you listen to the sound we basically know how we want it and it goes all the way down okay because it's just like the pier if I was playing my keyboard now you start drawing them in from C4 here there bam and let me spread it out a little so I can see okay there and if you wanna put a space to it and you can bring it back up just to freak it come back down there let me get rid of that um, this okay so we're doing um, four bars people now watch this bring it back up bring it, give it a little up come back up there bring it back down have a little fun with it now when you get to four bar four as you can see right there you know you want to start coming down now so you can get that uh that roll so you'll start here come there wait let me get rid of that uh there there I'm not telling you how to do it I'm just showing you how easy it is you don't have to open up a whole bunch of nonsense just to get that space 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 Bam, and come down. All right, let me. Okay, working with one hand. Forgive me. Oh, okay, and um, let me also show you. To give it some life, you're going to want to bring some of the notes down so it can roll, you know, properly. And give it some life, like some bounce. All right? So you get the picture. You'll, 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 you'll get the picture. All right. Now, let's do this so I can end the video. Show you how fast it, fast it is and easy it is. Now, watch this. You see that? Did you hear that? Okay. So that's, that's it. You don't have to open up nothing else. You don't have to make no combinator. You don't have to do all that nonsense and you just open up your sound come here and lay them in that's it now say if you just want it to start at the four you just get rid of these you can make how many of these as you want and have them in your tracks people i've i've done it you just got to put it on uh save it render it out bring it back in as audio and then put it on mute bring another one in put it on mute and use which ones you want in the tracks and when you start editing now watch this you're gonna hear you're gonna hear it I'm at four I mean three I'm gonna start four watch this see and there you have it um you can flip it let me show you something we can flip it from that I'm going to stay at 4. Let me go back up. Uh, C4. I think I'm going to start up there. Mm -hmm. Start at 4. Let's go here. Bring it over so I can see. Oh, I got to get rid of one. Because it's not on the 4. Sorry about that with the camera, people. I'm trying to hold it up. All right. Go back. Some space and yeah, that and bring it on down and to the last till it gets to the last part where it gets to five and watch this. Oops. 
¿Sí? And there you have it. All right? So you can um, do it just that simple. You don't have to open up a NNX19, make it a combinator, or have combinators open, or put it on the sequencer, bring it in a pitch bend, and all this other stuff. You don't need to do it. So with that, I'm saying I'm rather not. Um, subscribe. You can catch my videos, 44 The Knock, on YouTube. And with that, I say peace.